Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 81 of Bird Squaw. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. Uh, kind of a rough game last night, pretty embarrassing, and uh, I don't know. I got a lot to get off my chest today. I've been really, really amped up, really a lot of fire about the game last night. Uh, usually on this show, we agree. I have a strong point that it is very much in the minority with this team right now, and I'm going to let it out. And so hear me out. I'm probably not on your guys' side. But the main thing yesterday, the play calling. That was the big, big story. Not just the only thing that was the issue, but a lot of people had to do with the play calling. And Miles Sanders getting two runs. And I understand he is a weapon. I say on this show all the time that he is very much a weapon on our offense and is capable of being a thousand yard rusher, this, that, and the other. But I want to break down these drives and please tell me when they should have ran the ball. So just hear me out. Hear me out. I got them all here. <laughs> Buckle in. I'm upset, and I need to let people know. So we start off the game. They instantly go down and score, and I think all of us were kind of like, eh, this is not good. So you come back. You hit Goddard for 40 yards. Nice play. The next play, you hit Quez for five. Looking good. We're moving. And then Jalen underthrows Rager, and it's intercepted. Not a good ball. It, sh it continues that he's not hitting those long passes. That's a cause for concern that we'll get later into the episode. So that's drive one. All right. Nothing really changed there. You were moving the ball until you threw the interception. Obviously, then the defense gets it. They get the play, whatever. Ooh, we're back into it. Everyone's excited. They drive all the way down, get to the one, we stop them. And then, so you're at, you're at your one yard line. You throw the ball to Ertz. Bad throw, almost pick six. Then you give it to Devonte for five, and then you and he scrambles around and throws it away three and out. Where do you run the ball there? I guess you could have ran the ball at the one yard line, but you could the offensive line was getting blown up. That could have been a safety. All right, there you go. Two drives, six plays, six plays, and you didn't run the ball. Okay, whatever. Then the third drive, the Cowboys score. It's fourteen seven. Miles for nine yards on a short pass. Looks good. Nice little like screen gets nine yards. You then do a run out a read option that gets blown up. So if you would have just gave him a regular, it's a read option. If he would have just gave Miles the ball, he would have been blown up too. That would have been nothing. And then he throws behind her. It's no, nothing. You have to punt. It's not, nine plays. And you're where are we running the ball that makes a difference in any of these drives? All right. So now it's 27. All right. It's continuing to stack up. This is the second, this is just the second quarter, and we've ran nine plays. Nine plays. You get Miles for 24. Here we go. We're pumping. Miles for 24. Then Jalen scrambles for two. Miles for three. Ray, he, and then Jalen throws behind Goddard, and we have to punt. Oh, we ran the ball. What, what's the issue? This The offense has to be cruising with running the ball. The next drive, Jalen scrambles for three. He hits Devontae for 20. Then we get sacked, we get the holding call. It's second in like 30. Oh, let's run the ball. If we ran the ball there, people would say, are you even trying at this point? They, they throw it two times and then it's fourth down and they punt. That's halftime. That's halftime. You ran 18 plays in the first half and you want him to establish the run. And then out of halftime, okay, here we go. Establish the run, get a drive together. You hit Goddard for 30. Then you miss Goddard. Pick six game over. I don't give a crap about the play calling at that point. I understand that you got to establish, but there was no time to establish. I've said my my piece. You can get going. I, I think I'm going to speak for everybody who I'm going to say, you know, hey, we know the bar was low this year. Yes. We know yes. what we were expecting, right? But the first game, you kind of draw us in. Yep. You kind of make us feel like, Maybe we were wrong. Maybe we have a better team than we think we do. Maybe we're going to see some, you know, offense this year. Past two games, we've looked vanilla. No, I, mean, I used to say vanilla with Dougie. There's no motion. There's no nothing. We're not committing. We're, you know, defense. Come on. what What is going on? I mean... I found myself last night pining for Jim Schwartz. I mean, and, and really 
God, how bad did we want him out of town? Yeah, I mean, once again, I am not defending how that game went last night. So I think, as a fan base, the people that are just, ah, today, because you had time to think about it, we got emotional. We got emotional. It's the where Cowboys, we, where we don't want to have emotion, yep. right, with this team this year. It's kind of like, let's see what happens. But, hey. Patience is not something we have no. as a Philadelphia no, fan not. base. I know it's not. We want instant gratification, right? You guys sold us on this dude, right? That he was going to come in and, wow. I, I just think we're not seeing it. Right? No, I, I, yeah. I do agree. And I'm not defending. I'm just trying to show people that, hey, there wasn't the game dictated how the thing went. But, but, I but what did I say all the time? Prior to the game starting was, okay, I'm buying in, but we need to see in-game adjustments. We need to see what he's doing when the bullets start flying, right? Young guy, never been a play caller. Bullets start flying. My plan isn't working, right? What do you do? Great coaches adjust on the fly. I'm not saying this guy is not going to be a great coach. I'm saying we got to give him some time, right? He's taking ownership. Let's let's put an end to this high school, you know, shirt business and all that stuff. Let's, Saucy, it's time for you to be you, okay? Don't try to win us over anymore. Win football games. I know, but this is what I'm going to say okay. as well. All right, this, is, this is great. We got some, like, back and forth. We're usually not like this. I'm usually, we're on board. But I, I think it's just, I didn't when the ball was moving, and I'm not trying to bash Jalen. I'm not trying to bat, and I'm not trying to bash Jalen. I'm not trying to save Saucy. But when the ball, if you make some of these throws, you have. We went the longest drive was five plays. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't much to actually build on. Jalen did not play well yesterday. Yeah, and he owned it. I mean, what yes. we saw against Atlanta is Jason. J, uh, Jalen is the kind of quarterback. That's got to get that ball out quick. Yes. Right? That reads open. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Up tempo. Let's get yes. some tempo. We haven't seen that again. Well, they tried that, and then he threw the interception. I mean, <laughs> I, I get you. But then let's step back, and let's really look at this roster again. Exactly. Come I on. think, like Come you said, on. I think people... I, I was telling people all day yesterday. Obviously, I was locked in. I was pumped. It's the Cowboys. Hate them. Wish we could have dismantled them. But I just was like... They sold I didn't us as this thing's a Ferrari. I didn't know? like the and vibes. It's a Hugo. I, I didn't mean, like the on. vibes. We've got, we've got, you know, Rager. What is Rager going to be? Dude, he is a mess right now that with Twitter dude, and all that. It's really bad. That dude is just like... Ah... Then we got our Sega Whiteside. Uh, What's he I, doing on the roster? Blocking. Blocking? Come on. Are our guys getting open? Is there separation? I Should know. Rager be getting as many plays, snaps as Watkins and, and De Devontae? And the lines is breaking down yeah. again. Now we got injuries, all right? And uh, uh, Derek Barnett, dude. Derek Barnett, the brutal. I mean, as much as you might not like Saucy this morning. He was spot on when he said it's always him when he made another just not smart defense. He jumped off sides or he's doing a personal foul, whatever. We're not good enough to overcome yes, the, the penalties, dumb stuff, you know? The penalties and if are you're an gonna issue. keep being a dumb guy, saucy, that's on you. Yes, Do I agree with that. Do something about it. Get rid of him. Alright? There's a time, there's a come to Jesus meeting with that dude. You're either gonna ship up shape up or we're shipping you out yeah because I, i'm done with your stupidness i mean i agree and this is what i mean i fully am not giving anyone a pass for last night it was very upsetting because i agree did i think they were gonna win no but i agree that they should have been more competitive yeah. i was expecting more yeah, yeah, but want, that being you said want competitive, the cowboys right? are it's very obviously they're a much better team than we are. They are 100% the best team in the division. That being said, I still think we are the second best team in the division. There was just the, a the lot. The second of... best out of the draft. Yes, it's not. It's NFC. not very exciting. Yeah, Howie, can you invest in some damn linebackers? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Micah Parsons, God, can you not see that guy running all over the field? 
what kind of dynamic that brings to a team. And we we got no linebackers. No. Singleton wouldn't he? He'd be playing special teams on a good team. Yeah, I mean, there's it's showing just all the little things that we've known in the past. There's just a lot. There's. But I, my fear is we're giving this guy the keys to a big draft again, and he's gonna blow yeah, it. Yeah, because the draft is if Carson continues to play and the Colts be, continue to be bad. And how the, bad is he? Yeah, and that's we're, another we're not thing. even talking. That's, that's another not. rant. I'm going that Frank Reich endorsed this guy, and look what Frank Reich's even doing with Carson. He can't do anything. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, but ah! now, but now Carson. All right, that's over and done with. But now this guy that. And the thing is, I like Jalen, but there's already people attached to Jalen like people were attached to Carson. I've learned my lesson. I'm not attaching to Jalen. I like him. But as a guy that likes Alabama, watches Alabama, last night I saw the kid that got replaced at Alabama. Very calm and collective, but a guy that does the short off of reads. He wants to scramble right away. Even though it doesn't look like he's overwhelmed, he was. And it's just, it's scary. because and like, I don't want to hear any kind of Philly crap about the quarterback because no. this is all on him man he got the keys to the car and if he can't handle it we gotta find somebody it's else, very concerning right? because the draft is not good but but this go is ahead. yes i'm gonna segue I, into I what you know where i'm going where you said today at lunch which i think this is dire straits if it gets to this point but you said that once again jokingly Minshew mania and i said when does that start calling and i think if we're one and six it's Minshew mania yeah but the thing is we may be one and six because we're not winning this week the panthers are a lot better than we thought they were and the bucks are coming to town we're gonna be one and five and i don't even know who we play after we play the raiders after who are three and oh and are actually good so it could be one and six the thing is as much as i think Minshew mania is gonna become something that people are gonna embrace i fully still think you need to roll with jalen because you still need to know what he is if we get to one and six that's jalen's 13 games 13 games and he ha and and we are what we said that we were because right? it's very showing what the issues with last year's team is is the same that's happening last year the quarterback play is not the greatest the defense is not good and i once again, it's been three games. I'm not ready to run Saucy out of town. Once again, I'm not defending Saucy. I just think a lot of people are frustrated, and obviously so. I'm frustrated as well. But a lot of people are just mob mentality, negadelphia, just like, pity me. This is terrible. This guy's a dumbass. Sorry, excuse me. But we have to get him out of town after three games. It's just like... I hope we're all wrong. I, really I do. hope so too, but really, the next, I, I really said last do, week, but it, this next month is not going to be fun. Last night was scary. A lot of when games. You step back and just look at it. Games that right? we thought were winnable are slowly not becoming winnable. The Raiders are a lot better than I thought. The Panthers are a lot better than I thought. The Chargers are a lot better than I thought. The Broncos are a lot better than I thought. Um, even the Lions, they're 0-3, but they've played tough games. That's not that one even is a little concerning. But I, I mean, doesn't last night make you step back and go, damn, if we could have just won that Niners game. Man, yeah, that's that, the thing. That, that was Niners very winnable. Was there. It's very true. If that if they won that game, I think the juju's a little better going into last night. And even if they lose like that last night, people are probably feeling a little better. I mean, you're right. You're right. Playing the Cowboys on Monday night football for the whole world to see and coming out and laying that egg the way we did. That 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 hurts. Oh, it 100% hurt. does. It it sucked. But I just think people are a little... I think people, want, like you said, got a little higher expectations after week one. And because it was the Cowboys, and because of how dismal it was, people are like, something needs to happen. Even though nothing is going to happen. This is what we signed up for, if we liked it or not. We were saying it all off season, And it sucks that it's kind of just ending up the way we knew it was going to be. It, it, you know... We were we were kind of blind to really where we <laughs> thought. We were yeah. looking at that schedule, going, "Yeah, that looks pretty good at the back end." But you know, yeah. now that now that everything started, it's kind of sinking in a little bit. That man, we're just young, and we're young at spots, yeah. and we're old at spots. Yeah, and, it's and not this whole roster yeah. needs yeah. to be. You know, we bring in Kerrigan. He doesn't even yeah. have a stat. There, there's yeah. You know, he's, there's he's so statless. Much. There's so much to get into that we can't even get into because we're already like continuing to. There's so much to get into that we can't even get into in a single week. And yeah. now we got the Chiefs. Yeah, coming who are to coming town. in? 
two straight losses. People are doubting them. Andy was in the hospital. Ha Thankfully, he's okay. Coming back to Philadelphia. And we got to go down there Sunday and sit in our seats. It's kind of like... It's 100%. Do it for Andy. We need to get people to remember that we're still good, uh, and it's not going to be pretty. I, it doesn't feel like it. No. I mean, this is a total shock to the world if this would happen. It's not. But you Fully know. accept that, people. It's not happening, and if it's even remotely close, take it as a positive. It is mostly individual achievements. We're not what W's and L's don't really I matter. Mean, just I development. Would, I would say what Jalen said to the, you know yesterday. <laughs> just like, flush it. That's but a, we're gonna be flushing it for uh, like four weeks. weeks yeah, man. it's gonna be wrong. And, and I don't even know if it's gonna keep going down. So <laughs> I mean, it's piling it clog, up. It's yeah, gonna it's pile gonna up. Clog. The more that this thing unravels, uh, hopefully we can right the ship. I think. I think honestly, if if we just be competitive, yeah, people will Good like man. buy back in a little yeah. bit. You know, people are quick to make. I think people are judgments. out already. <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying not to be that guy. You know, you talked me kind of off the ledge. Yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, I don't feel great. No, I don't either. I don't without the matter of doubt, and I don't think I'll be feeling much better next Wednesday when we're back. But. I don't think in our post game. Yeah, when we rant, yeah, it's while it's we're not, driving home, it's not going to be. Good. I don't think we're going to be feeling great. <laughs> but you know. what, what are you going to do? This is what we signed up for. This is what it's going to be. But once again, thank you for sitting through my rant in the beginning. It needed to be done. So thank you for sitting through my rant. That needed to be out there. I just needed to in, let people know what was going on. But yeah, I don't think we'll be feeling much better next Wednesday. But we'll be back here, and eh, it'll be fun to talk about this team again. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on Bird, on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Hey, and we're going to be down there Sunday. So walking around, tailgating, whatever. Hey, commiserate with us, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll always be down there, always looking to see people. And let us know what you're thinking in the comments. If you agree with me, if you agree with him, if whatever you're thinking, let us know. But as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fly, Eagles, fly. Go, birds.